said last week that uh, you plan to be a full participant in rookie minicamp. What what will that entail? And have the coaching staff told you how they want to use you this week? I mean, yeah, I'm I'm gonna be a full participant. I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna be uh, part of the team. So. Um, as far as uh, how they use me as as at my position, linebacker, inside linebacker, either either one of them, I go to will. The last time we talked to you was right after you got drafted and had to endure that slide. Uh, does that stick with you? Do you kind of push it out of your mind, or is that something you want to use in, in your career now? Well, it's it definitely gonna be something that stick with me, but it's not it's not my primary or my secondary source of motivation or my tertiary of that course. But it's, it definitely is gonna be something that's gonna stick with me throughout my uh, playing career. What is your primary motivation? Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, besides my family, you know, this is, I feel like that's such a cliche, but of course, you know, your family, but I feel like uh, one of my biggest things were, is the kids back home, you know. It's a, I, I remember growing up back in Horn Lake, a lot of kids, I didn't have nobody to look up to, like, for, so to speak, that uh, where I wanted to be in life, where I wanted to do. Yeah, I always wanted to be better than everybody I kind of looked up to, so it's like, when I go back home, I try to tell the kids, like, I don't want y'all to be like me. I want y'all to be better than me, but I'm going to make it hard. So that's, that's, that's one of my biggest things. What interaction did you have with Jordan Davis since the draft? And I'm sure you saw each other today. I mean, what's that interaction? I mean, we I mean, we, we, we talked on the phone. All, well, we, we friends. So he, he was a good friend of mine. So we always talking on the phone and everything. And, of course, since, since we've been here, we've been talking every day. You know, we had practices. It just feel good to be back on the field with him. How much do you think that's going to help your adjustment, you know, coming in with Jordan, you know, knowing how yeah. he plays and everything like that? Definitely. I feel like it's going to help me from the standpoint of uh, just get more comfortable. You know, he's such a, a easygoing guy and can, and can get comfortable with people fast, you know, and I feel like if I see how he interacts with everybody, you know, be, me being able to get more comfortable, me being able to get more connected with the team. And hearing about you, uh, it's been described as, as, as like the alpha personality, right? Mm -hmm. Are you able to do that right away? Does it? Does it take time, or, or do you come here with the rookies and have that personality? Well, it, uh, well, we know it, so they give me that, right? I don't, I don't go around saying I got an alpha personality. I just, but um, for me, I feel like it's just me getting to know everybody. You know, me as far as running the defense, uh, being a, a, the play caller, or doing or doing my job, whatever that uh, may be, uh, to the best of my ability. So I feel like with all that, them the people around me getting connected, and getting to know me more, yeah, it'll, it'll begin to show. That's an accurate assessment of your personality, the, the alpha, and where do you think that comes from? I mean, I, I, I mean, I do, but um, where it comes from, from, from my own field standpoint, I feel like it just comes from me taking care of my business, me taking care of my business, being a guy that can be uh, accountable, you know, uh, being, being a guy that people can account on. We've got a little taste of this defense. Are there any similarities to what you guys did at Georgia? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, we run at Georgia. We ran everything from cover zero to cover nine. So it's it's not too much that I'm gonna see that we haven't ran before. It's just the different ways of running, you know, different techniques and things like that. The coach you want to see. Football a long time, and I know the Eagles. I think tweeted out a picture, a video of you trying on your helmet. Um, but does this feel any different? You know, getting ready for your, you know, to play at the highest level for the game. Uh. The only different part about it is I've been in college for three years, now I'm on a new team, learning a new system with different people. You know, other than that, it, it's still football. You know, uh, of course, everybody kind of the, the details are uh, a little bit more um, put underneath the magnoscope, a magnifying glass. But other than that, um, it, it, football is football. You know, everybody, of course, everybody better, everybody good, and I and I expect that. Helping out linebackers uh, you've watched growing up or that are in the league now that you've kind of compared yourself to or? I mean, as far as comparing myself, I don't, I don't feel like I can compare myself to nobody. You uh, watch them play. And right, right, right. Follow. Yeah, so uh, I feel like the guy, the people that I do watch, you know, I – Cause I, cause I'm a, you know, I'm a fan of football, so I do watch football. I do watch linebackers. People that I do watch, I try to take a little bit and piece of each of their games, you know, that I like. And I'd be like, like if I see a pass rush move or, or some the way somebody took on a block or a, a technique they use in coverage, you know, I feel like I can, I'll take that um, and I try to put it on my game, see if it works or not. Names of guys that uh, you've watched over the years. Uh, I feel like the most recent couple of guys I had probably watched was probably like. Like Roquan, uh, Zach Cunningham, the way he come down here, uh, Darius Lynn, the way he attacks the ball, um, Eric Kendricks in his own coverage, the way he uh, attacks the ball in the air, so things like that. Out of curiosity, what inspired you to uh, study engineering? 
I would, I, I always had the little, little passion for it. You know, uh, I really growing up, it was like it was gonna be like an engineer, doctor, or architect. It, it was kind of my thing. So, uh, I, it's still, it's still a chance that I, I might, you know, pursue uh, pre med, depending on, uh, depending on if I feel like doing chemistry and everything when I get back to school. But um, engineering, you know, uh, I feel like for me, I want to work in like prosthetics. So growing up, you know, my mom is a veteran, so she used to always go to the VA and everything. And I used to see like, like veterans who have lost limbs and things. So at a young age, I just thought like, dang, what, what's the way I can help them and build like prosthetics and things like that? And you know, it kind of came back out when I uh, was picking my major for college. Shelby, many have called you a, a very instinctual linebacker. Mm -hmm. Where do you think that comes from? Your studying of some of those players you mentioned, or is that just something? That's always come natural to you. On the well, field. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it came natural, but uh, I'll say for a lot of it is study. You know what I mean? Uh, a good bit of it is study, but that everybody studies the game. It definitely at this level, everybody should be studying, taking care of their business in a uh, in a film room. But uh, I feel like I've been playing. You know, as far as off ball linebacker in the middle of the defense, I've been playing for a while. So you know, you kind of get certain feels for for offense or different. Um, What's it called? Um, formation that that tendencies come from universally in football, not just from a certain team. What does Jordan Davis do, guys do uh, for a linebacker playing behind him? Like, what mm -hmm. what does he open up for you? How does he how does he allow you to attack? I mean, he he opens it up from the from the standpoint of he he makes the O lineman block him. You know, uh, they he 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 a mismatch on a on a one on one block so they they definitely have him in the back of his mind when they got a double team up to a linebacker they'll stick on him a little longer give the linebacker a little bit more free range to run so he he definitely is a mismatch threat and just open things up make the uh make the o line think you said that uh you didn't have anybody to look up to uh, coming out of horn lake so how did you sort of find your way through i mean you i don't feel like you got to have somebody to look up to to find your way through you just got to know what you want to do you now you gotta know what you wanna do, the goals you wanna accomplish and uh and continue to push through and uh, go get them. When your mom was in the service, like what did she do? She was uh she was in the infantry. She was uh not where I've been she she was in and out before I was even born. But she was uh they was in the my my mother and my father they was in the Gulf War.